This video is sponsored by Fox 3 Managed Solutions. Use the coupon code above to get 10% off your subscription. All right, welcome back. This is going to be a continuation of my DCS for Beginners series. Those of you who are brand new, this is going to be a video on how to install new liveries for your aircraft. Uh, as a new player, you probably just have the SU-25T, so that's the aircraft that we're in right now, and that's the one we're going to be using. So hit F2, we can see the outside view. All right, hit the backslash key, and then F8 for ground crew, and then F1 to hit the rearm and refuel screen. All right, and in here, we can change the livery of the jet. This goes for any aircraft that you're flying. If you're on the ground, you can change the livery anytime you want this way. Now, if you're in the mission editor and you have an aircraft that you placed on the map and it's the SU-25T or whatever it is, you click on the loadout button here, the payload button, and this is where you can change your loadout and you can also change your livery. So this paint scheme drop down, change it to whatever you want. If you are going through this list and you're not really liking what you see, you kind of wish you had more options. Like these are the only ones I have available to me. Um, I want to see more options or I, I, I'd, I'd like to see my country's skin for this jet, right? And you don't have it. To get it, you can either create it yourself, which is very, very labor intensive, or the easier way is to hopefully someone has created it and you can find that in the DCS user files database. So open up a browser and go to digitalcombatsimulator.com. Once you're here, click on downloads, and then user files. Now you'll notice you're just under 24,000 files as of the making of this video. And I don't want to scroll through this for days on end, just trying to find the skin that I like for the SU-25T. So we're going to use these filter options up here. So type, we're going to select this and click skin. And then for unit, we're going to click this and go down to SU-25T. Looks like there's 107 skins for it. So click show, and this will show all 107 of them. I'm going to scroll down and just pick one. Uh, I like this Croatian Air Force. Let's click this one. And when we're in here, we can see how many times it's been downloaded, when it was uploaded, so late last year, and any comments that people have made so far. No one's made any comments on this yet. Uh, but usually if there's a problem, someone will say, Hey, the, the board numbers don't work or whatever, you know, and if the creator is still active, they'll make the change and, and upload the change to the file. So we'll click download here and click the folder and right click and extract. Now, if you don't have an extract option, like I do here, it's probably because you either have an older version of windows that doesn't have that, like mine, this is windows 10 or you don't have an extraction software, some sort of package extractor. So if you don't have the ability to extract .rar, go to Google and type in 7-zip. Now, again, this is just what I use. If it breaks something for you, I can't take uh, responsibility for that. This is just my suggestion. Hopefully it works for everybody. I haven't seen it cause any problems for anybody, but this is what I use. So 7-zip.org, click download. And once it's downloaded, just click open file, click install, close, and that's it. Simple. Now, when we go back to this, uh, the downloads folder, we can right click on the RAR, select 7-zip, and extract to Croatian Air Force backslash. That's just going to create a whole folder. All right, there it is. We'll double click on that. And inside here, we got another folder with the same exact name. Double click. And here is the livery files. Now, what do we do with this? As a new user, I would have no clue what to do with this. Uh, usually there's a readme file in here that explains where to put things, but there is none. So this needs to go in the liveries folder in the saved games location. So if we go to C drive, users, your username, saved games, DCS, liveries. Inside here, if you're a new user and you don't have any liveries, any custom liveries loaded, nothing's going to be in here. Now, if I put the Croatian Air Force folder directly in here, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to load. Nothing's going to work. And the reason is, is inside this directory, you have to have a folder with the name of the aircraft, uh, the friendly name, meaning what DCS expects to see. So you can't just put uh, a folder in here. If I go in here, a new folder and say SU25T, that's not going to work. Not going to load. Why? Because it's looking for a specific folder name. What, what folder name is it looking for, right? So to do that, to find out, 
Let's go into the C drive again. We're going to go to Program Files, and we're going to go to the Root Installation Location. So Eagle Dynamics, DCS World, and in here, we're going to go to Core Mods, and then click on Aircraft. Now, inside Aircraft, this is all the names, the file names that you're going to need for all the aircraft in DCS. The only one that doesn't exist in here, this is where people get uh, caught off guard and kind of stuck the only one that doesn't exist in here is the Su-25T. And that, as far as I know, is the only one that doesn't exist in here. So I'm going to show you where that is. So we'll go back to DCS World and click on Mods, Aircraft, and there it is. And this is the name it's looking for. So we'll right-click on this, click Rename, press Control-C to copy it. And then we're going to go back to the saved game lo location. So Users, Your Username, Saved Games, DCS liveries new folder and then control v to paste that name in there so this is the folder we need so let's open up a new folder so right click down here and click downloads we're going to open up the croatian air force folder and we know this is the actual livery folder because all the livery files are inside here so right click here and click copy go back over here to the su25t saved games location right click and click paste all right, so within here is where all the livery files should be. There shouldn't be another directory within this. Once you have that, let's launch DCS. At the launcher, click Launch. Once you're loaded, you can either go into Instant Action or Mission Editor. I like Mission Editor. New Mission, OK. Then click the F16 button over here. Click there. Uh, anywhere, it doesn't matter country we're going to change to combined joint task forces blue because the su-25t there is no american su-25t so we got to go to combined joint task forces so we can get it or pick a red air uh, country so you can get that up scroll down su-25t and then click this bomb button right here this is the payload button there's the su-25 and we're going to select this paint scheme drop down and we're looking for a croatian air force there it is and that's how you do it same procedure for all aircraft. Now, if you own the F-16 and you want to fly it with the livery that I use in most of my F-16 tutorial videos, you can get that on my website. So let's go to the Edge browser again. Go to bogeydope.net, click on DCS, click free liveries. And these are the liveries that I've created for the F-16. Just click download on one of these. So the 18th Fighter Squadron. Uh, you have the 18th Fighter Squadron uh, liveries already by default in DCS with the F-16 package, but they're the current 18th FS aggressor schemes. Um, and you'll notice if you watch my tutorial videos where I've got my skin on, my livery is pre-2008. Um, at 2008 is when we switched them over from an actual fighter squadron to an aggressor squadron. So this is the way they were when I was... Um, actually stationed there. So once we have this downloaded, we'll go to the folder, same procedure, except I have mine in a uh, zip, adopt zip uh, extension. So extract all, extract, double click on 18th FS, and there's no readme. So I'm going to, I'm going to fix that for you and put a readme in there. Double click, and here's the exact, these are all the livery files. So we're going to grab this, right click, copy, C drive, users, username, saved games, DCS, liveries. There is no F16 folder in here, right? So I'm going to paste this in here for now. But we know that there is no 18th FS aircraft and DCS won't load this. and won't know what to do with that, right? We just went through this with the SU-25T. So let's go back to C, program files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS World, core mods, aircraft, F16C, liveries and that is the folder name that we want so right click rename control c to copy that let's go back c drive users username saved games dcs liveries we're going to create a new folder and control v to paste that name in there so this is the f16 folder name we're going to click and drag this livery file inside the f16c underscore 50 folder inside here now we have the 18th fs livery the way it should be let's load dcs again all right once it's loaded let's go to mission editor new mission okay 
and the F16 button. Click anywhere on the map and we'll select the F16 block 50 and the bomb button here. We're looking for the 18th. There it is, 18th FS pre-2008. This is my skin. Now to make it my jet, Bogey Dope's actual jet that I have my name on the side of, tail number is 89077. There it is. That's my bird. Now, if you want all three of my skins, but you don't want to deal with the procedure that I just taught you, I actually created an installer that'll do it for you all automatically. Just come down here to all liveries, click download installer, and it's going to take you to the Bogey Dope Google Drive and just click download anyway. Now, once it's downloaded, your browser might flag it as uh, possibly suspicious. And that's just because I literally wrote the code to build the installer myself. Uh, and I don't have $50 a month to pay DigiCert for a certificate to make it assigned executable. So a lot of antivirus uh, software and other programs are probably not going to like it because it's not signed. So it's suspicious because, you know, we don't know what this is. It's an EXE. It could be anything. So, but uh, trust me. <laughs> But yeah, like here's the raw code. Like I actually wrote this by myself, uh, did a ton of research and uh, God blessed me enough with an analytical mind and I've never done anything like this, but I did a, and then like probably through two or three days of reading and watching YouTube videos and I was able to figure this out on my own. So I uh, got this going. That's why you're going to get this flag, but don't worry about it. Click keep and then <laughs> keep anyway. Everything's going, all right. Are you sure? Any any virus detection is going to just flag it immediately and just find it wherever you put your downloads. Mine's in my downloads folder. We'll just double click on the bogey dope installer. If you get flagged again by, by Windows, just run anyway. And here it is. Just click next and this should install it by default exactly where it needs to go inside your saved games. However, I know some people modify things and move things around. Maybe your drive is different. I don't know. So if that's the case, just click browse and browse to your saved games DCS folder. Uh, just click install and that'll install all three of my 18th fighter squadron liveries, both flagship paint schemes and the pre-2008 fighter squadron livery. Click finish. All right, and now when you go into the liveries dropdown, you should now see both flagships. Uh, pre-2006 Iceman 1 and 2008 Iceman 1. It does the same thing that we just did in this video manually, but it does it automatically for you. Unfortunately, it's just for my liveries, but I figured I'd give you guys that option. So yeah, there you go. That's how you install liveries. Start going through the user file database on DCS's website, check it out. Find ones that you like, download them, install them, make sure you have them in the right location. It's the same procedure for all of them. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. See you guys. Let's go.